Whoa. Okay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Claire. I'm Alyssa. I'm Jessica. I'm Thomas. And we are Bennington's Poetry Group. And, <laughs> and our poem is titled The Sum. When we started this climb to the cliff four years ago, I knew what tomorrow would bring. Tomorrow would be a bright future. The American dream becoming a reality before our eyes. Our, Our naivety, naivety is what drove us forward. forward. I believed I, I am important. important existed before I became a number on a transcript. A place in the race to win first place. Losing, Losing hope, hope as I fall down the ladder to number 27. And I look up at all of you so far ahead and think, how can I ever be enough? If these will be the best days of my life, I, I don't, don't want it. As dawning as the world may seem. And as small as I am in that world. It's scarier living, living on a memory that, that can, can never be captured. captured. Always coming back to, I, I remember, remember when. when. Never being able to hop off. Off of the carousel we've made ourselves so comfortable on. Man, y'all need to chill like the bill on Capitol Hill. We got this. Let's see. As for my transcript, flawless, superb, beautiful. Sure, I'm 16th in my class, but the people handing out the dope just keep giving mo, mo, mo. See what I'm saying? I'm not playing when I say I'm set. We've all conditioned for these marathons. Scrimmage through studying. Exercise, the execution of all-night cram sessions, testing our endurance, and preparing, preparing us for the trials of tomorrow's hurdles. Still, this is not enough. Sacrifice must be made in order to be ruled the victor. I'm trying, Mom and Dad. I really am, but, but I'll, I'll never be perfect. perfect. I should be top of my class with all A's and a 4.0 GPA. I should be the one addressing the class of 2018. Like a pastor at the pulpit, giving the final speech before the apocalypse. To be bestowed the divine right to preach because I made first place in the competition of high school. But I can't erase the letter C as it clouds my dreams. It's just a letter on a piece of paper to some, but to me it's my everything. My mistake. My tomorrow. In calculus, I have a C. And they say C's get degrees, but, but C's don't go to college for free. My mother always told me I was made to be one of a kind. But after the age of five, you were all forced to think like we all had one mind. And now I stress because they ask me what it is I want to be. But how can I know what I want to be? When I don't even know the person who is me. Man, we're going to be fine because we're 99% positive you're going to major in math in a country that is deprived from your future services. There's no reason to worry. Plus, it helps that they gave me some extra money to put a leather ball through an iron hoop. Now, here's a scoop. You can take that paper to the bank every Sunday. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Standards continue to rise, and the more we grew to despise those who surpassed our achievements. Congratulating them only for their appeasement. It's, it's become, become one big competition. competition. The grand prize, college tuition. We are just a sum of numbers divided by the days we have left to live. Defined by figures. Points added up against each other. Approximately 27,375 days I will walk this earth. At age 18, I live 6,570 days. Almost 25% of my estimated life. If, if I am divided, divided by the choices, choices that influence tomorrow, what is the answer?